The U.S. government is set to release an unclassified report on UFOs maybe as early as next week. What was once considered a, a joke is now seen by a lot of people as a genuine national security issue. Ex-government officials are increasingly outspoken about it. Even former President Barack Obama conceded this month there are things that they simply cannot explain. What is true, uh, and I'm, I'm actually being serious here, is, is that uh, there are... Uh, there's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. Our next guest is the former director of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program at the Pentagon. And here's what he said on 60 Minutes a few weeks ago. Imagine a technology that can do six to 700 G-forces, that can fly at 13,000 miles an hour, that uh, it can evade radar, and that can fly through air and water and possibly space, and oh, by the way, has no obvious signs of propulsion, no wings, no control surfaces, and yet still can defy the natural effects of Earth's gravity. That's precisely what we're seeing. And Luis Elizondo joins us now. Lou, great to have you here. Um, I don't think there's any question anymore. These are real. I mean, Navy pilots are on the record with what they've seen flying around. Um, military videos have caught images of these UFOs. What do you think this report, maybe as early as next week, is going to say? Well, I hope the report provides Congress what it asked for and, frankly, what it deserves, and that is a, a current assessment of the situation. Um, my only fear is that 180 days is really not a sufficient uh, enough time to to provide a comprehensive report. I, when I was my when I was working in the Pentagon, uh, we did this for for nearly a decade, and there's a lot of information to comb through. And again, my, my fear is that 180 days is simply not going to be long enough to provide that comprehensive report to Congress that it asked for. So your expectation that this won't be comprehensive then? Well, I think it's going to be a start. My hope is that this is going to serve as an interim report. And, and frankly, I hope that there's a, a more long-term enduring capability that's established within the government, perhaps a whole-of-government approach, to, to look at this this issue. This issue is, is not a recent issue. It's, it's been going on for, for many, many years, if not decades. And, uh, and it's finally coming to the point where the U.S. government, really, it's, it's reached this critical mass where we just can't simply deny it anymore. And so, Lou, when you were the director of this special program at the Pentagon, what information did you see that the rest of us don't know about? Sure. Well, I think what's important here is we're talking about eyewitness testimony from trained observers. These are individuals we have spent millions of dollars training uh, for them to recognize the silhouette of a F-16 versus an SU-22 versus a MiG-25, in some cases from 25 miles away. And what they're reporting to us are really uh, extraordinary uh, vehicles doing extraordinary things. And furthermore, it's backed up by electro-optical data, such as gun camera footage, and further backed up by radar. So in essence, you have three distinct pieces, uh, or if you will, collection uh, uh, sources that are all providing the same information at the same time, at the same place, under the same circumstances, uh, and, all, and all really validating what the pilots are seeing. And so, so it's very compelling. And, and at this point, we know it's real. You know, uh, you, you, you make an interesting point. At this point, that you know it's real. Uh, not too long ago, as I mentioned, this would have been a joke, but now you've got a president, former president, acknowledging this. What changed that now we have former President Obama saying, serious now, there are things that we cannot explain? Yeah, well, and it's not former, just former President Obama. We have former Director of National Intelligence Ratcliffe. We have former Director of CIA John Brennan, former Director of CIA Woolsey. All of them have come forward, along with some of our uh, elected officials in Congress who've, who stepped forward. All have received classified briefings on the topic. And, and what they're being provided is extremely compelling. I, I think, again, we are well beyond reasonable doubt at this point. So the real question is, what exactly are we dealing with? Are we dealing with some sort of foreign adversarial technology, or are we really dealing with something that is, that's, that's a paradigm moment for, for our species and dealing with something completely different? And what do you think it is? I mean, when you say that something can travel at 13,000 you know, miles per hour, you don't see any form of propulsion, it can go up and down, it defies the laws of technology and gravity as we know it, what do you think it is? 
Well, uh, to be completely honest, it's, it's too early for, for us to make any type of conclusion right now. I think we're still in the, in the phase of data collecting uh, and, and analyzing. I think uh, all options have to remain on the table until, frankly, they're no longer on the table. And I, I just want to be very careful offering my particular opinion right now because, frankly, we just don't have enough data to make uh, any type of logical conclusion yet. Well, it certainly is fascinating. And again, we are awaiting this unclassified report. Uh, we will all read it when it comes out. Luis Elizondo, thanks so much for your expertise and time, sir. Thank you so much for having me.